All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on our 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. This is my custom trim. Um, check out my other couple videos I did on this on the detailed like pricing, the trims, the options, and so forth. This video, though, I just got these new blacked out emblems. So if you see here on the side, this is the only chrome on the whole truck. This on the back tailgate, there uh, says custom and then Silverado. Those are going to get replaced with this and this. And then each, then we have two 2500 HDs in gloss black that we're going to replace. Now I ordered these from Chevy, uh, the Chevy Accessories webpage. So I had some Chevy rewards points I needed to redeem, and I ended up doing this uh, retail. I think that they're like ninety dollars, but uh, there was like a twenty percent off, and then I had some rewards points. So it didn't cost me a whole lot to do this. I was debating whether to do like a Plasti Dip or a like a Hyper Dip kind of a deal where you paint over those. I just didn't know how to do that. I didn't want to take the time. I figured this would be kind of a cleaner looking look. I like the, glo the gloss black look, so that's why I decided to go with uh, this route. But I'm actually really impressed with how these come. I was a little concerned about, you know, the spacing and getting it right. But the cool thing is, is if you see how it comes in this foam template. So all, I'm, all I have to do is just set this over the old one. Uh, I'm going to tape it up with some painter's tape. That way I get it nice and level exactly where this was. And then I'll be able to lift it up, take off these old ones, prep the surface, put these back down, take off the adhesive strip, and it'll stay in. So I really like that it comes in these foam templates, so it's really easy to get it straight, level. You don't have to worry about the spacing. One thing I think is interesting is that on the Chevy website, when you're building the truck, for example, if you go into the uh, build, you can get this as an option from the factory when you're building the truck, but it's almost it's over $400 to get blacked out emblems, a blacked out bow tie. And then because this is a black truck, this wouldn't show up, but you can get uh, like blacked out letters where it says Chevrolet. So that's over $400, whereas it's only $90 to get all these emblems here. And then the bow tie blacked out is $55. So for they're charging almost three times the cost to do this from the factory. So it doesn't make sense to, to build this. Just do it yourself. It's pretty easy. So today I'm going to walk through the process of how it's, uh, of how I put these on, how we take these old ones off, and hopefully it looks good. So we'll get started here. All right, we're going to start work on the driver's side first. So first off, what I want to do is I want to line, I, I want to line this up first. So I'm just setting this over the old, okay, just use some blue painters tape like this. This, this you can stick onto the, uh, paint and it's not going to leave any residue so you're safe to do this. So what I want to do is I want to put this on, actually I want to put it on the corners here first, hold it up. So I'm just going to put a strip, a long strip of tape right here to kind of lock in that. So now what I can do is, so now what I can do is I can hold that up, I can hold that up, take these off prep this surface and then I can just fold it back down, apply those right on. The hardest part is just getting all that adhesive off. So what I used, I used the, the dental floss to pull off the letters and then with the adhesive that was left, I actually used my, this is just a racer wheel. And it, it, it's not, it's not going to really scuff the surface at all. It really just, it's kind of like a big eraser. If you use, lose, use kind of a low speed, light pressure on there, that worked pretty well. And then after I got that all done, I used just this uh, swirl, kind of a polish and I just polish this area because the eraser wheel leaves just a little bit of residue that polishes right off. So now I'm at the point where I can uh, start applying these decals. So what I want to do is I, there's an alcohol prep pad that comes with this. I'm just going to wipe down the surface with that just to get any residue, any wax or anything like that. That's, that's going to remove that. And then I'll be able to remove this adhesive strip. This is currently flipped up. So what I'll do is I'll remove this, this piece of tape and then it will fold back down into place here. We'll get that put on. All 
Okay, this is exposing the adhesive on the back of these letter, uh, back of the emblems. Now I'm just going to press firmly down on each one, just making sure they, they stick down. Oh man, look how, look at that thing come off. Oh yeah, dude, that looks awesome. Kind of hard to tell, there's a lot of reflection on there, but... I think that looks pretty cool. All right, one down, four more to go. Badging on, and it's pretty good. It looks like the letters or, or the emblem is just kind of raised up from the paint. It looks like it's uh, it's not very noticeable. It's kind of a stealthy look. The back still has a little bit of a eraser wheel on it, but looks pretty cool. I really like the look of the black emblem on there. All right, guys. Well, that was the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more cool videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.